Minneapolis, Indiana. 10 o'clock in the morning. That I'm almost certain is going on my truck. Look at this guy's rig. He's got a good looking setup there. Um, see how I use the chains on the garbage cans there? Instead of, obviously they have soft tops, right? So you can't throw straps. But what I got is a trash compactor, so if I can chain it, I'm going to chain it. Uh, it weighs 9,700 pounds. I should be getting better rate on this, but Tavares is literally right by my house. And what I have on the trailer is right by my house also. So it saves me from going anywhere extra. But yeah, that's what we got going on. Um... Oh, I just want to say, James out in, uh, where was that, Nevada? Yeah, Reno, thanks for stopping and saying hi. And then this morning, uh, truck driver next to me, James, again. Thanks for uh, checking out the videos and saying hi. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, if you have any comments on uh, what you'd like to see more or anything, go ahead and let me know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just documenting my life out here in the hot shot business, you know, CDL hot shot. That's it. The troubles, the trials, the tribulations, the the wins, the losses, everything, right? Like, this ain't clickbait. I'm a hotshot trucker who owns my own authority, who does it, and then does a YouTube channel on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not opposite for me. I'm not a YouTuber who does hotshot. So, that that's it. You know what I'm saying? This non-filtered, non-BS, no... uh no crap on this channel so yeah look at that he's he's backing it up it's got wheels on the bottom of it huh i would like to chain that down then yeah, that sucker can just move around as it pleases let's see there's got to be chain holes on that all right let's Let's try to get this loaded. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. I should put my belt on. My pants are falling down. It's close to that. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
taller than I imagined. Zing. Yeah, I should definitely be getting more for this one. Oh well, I took it. That's nice and secure. We can get a chain through there. chains we can get underneath the frame right there and then we'll throw a couple of straps on here so set my gloves down can't find them chain hooked boom just getting it snug if we start cranking down it'll slide back so that one's pulling that way, so we need this one to pull this way. See? That's where I like wearing gloves. Good thing we got a hand sink, right? Um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. is gonna reach do you see any gloves If I take stuff out, I try to leave it obvious that I'm not done, right? Because then when I'm looking around, I know if I forgot something.
There you go, hot shot truck in 2020 guy. I don't know your name, by the way. Ouch. $750 to go on the back deck there. It's just 250 pounds going to Miami. It's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes from here. They haven't sent me the right car. And the load is still on the load boards. Even though they told me, ah, that's tight. Even though they told me last night, we'll take it down right away. I, I took a measurement, it's like 12 foot, so we're golden. I swear, I don't even need straps for that, but we're gonna throw a couple on for aesthetics. All right, I'm gonna shut up. It's probably like five minute video already. Is that what you guys like watching? Me jibber jabbing? Jibber jabbering? A little peyote on my glove. Someone sees them on the video. Point it out. Here we go. Sorry I'm breathing heavy, Fritz. I smoke a lot. <laughs> As you can see, I was about to huck this strap over. And look at this. Boom. Fire hose port. So we're gonna huck this one. That one and that one. It's more than enough for this thing. Put this away. Ha! <laughs> I found my gloves. <laughs> okay. Final walk around. Done it strap down nice and tight. This is good. This is good. This thing's been dancing around for a while. Straps are still good. Alright, chain to the rail. Boom, yanking this way. Strap over the top. Strap over the top. Chain to the rear. Yanking this way. So they're pulling opposite of each other, right? Clanking that thing down um yeah right as i predicted we got like eight feet right that's five never mind that's two we got seven feet let's wash our hands if this guy hadn't sent this rake on to florida we go we're we're in georgia uh the loves bojangles this dumpster trash compactor thingy bobber that weighs uh, 10,000 pounds, right? And this weighs 2,000 pounds, so that's 12,000 pounds. If you stand back and look at my truck, look at the angle of the trailer, starting to go down, right? Versus when it's unloaded. Look at the wheel well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a ride height test right now with 12,000 pounds on there. And since I have a defined point, which is my trailer hitch, 
you guys see this 18 and 5 8 is what I'm getting so that's gonna be the test once we unhook this is one's gonna tie into another video about fixing the ride height and the tire wear but um, yeah this is holding good we are 200 and something miles away from my folks house I'll be staying there Monday morning that goes and then that goes and then we're done for our 23 24 day trip good trip though um, I guess I'm gonna have to cut this video a little different because the ride height like I said is for, is for the next one and it's gonna solve a lot of people's problems if you if you follow what I'm about to do it's gonna solve your tire problems up front so all right let's finish this journey we have made it to Vara's Florida and big surprise Samantha co-driver who's this who's this Samantha is rolling all right someone's gonna tell me where to go here Can on the left hand side, on oh, that side. Okay. And then, uh, well, Scoop it. Okay, you want me to go up by the, the other truck over there or just. No, just right here. Just here. right. Alright, gotcha. There we go. GoPro battery's dead. Samantha's rolling with me back to Orlando, so um, we'll be there. And But we gotta go to Winter Park and then, and then home, so. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Forklift on dirt and mud. Oh. Tight quarters, right? You see that truck? But yeah, we are done. Strapping down this dunnage. Airbags are refilling. Uh, yeah, winter park Florida from Tavares. 45 minutes, maybe? Winter park Florida, KDL home. About 20 minutes. One more, one more. Who wants to take a guess on how many miles this trip has been? Three weeks. Go ahead and comment before I say it. Well, I guess I'll know when I get home. Uh, here we go, one walk around, boom, 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 boom. Let's go. I don't know what to do with myself. Look at that face. Hey, babies. Are you a little confused what's going on? Let's give you some air conditioning without the dust. Okay. All right, now let's go. Of course we couldn't finish off without a little drama. Oh, who's this? Nobody. See this? Look at where we are right here. So I came up University Boulevard. That's a four-lane road. And Google Maps is telling me to pull into this. Again, it's one of those commercial parks right so there's there's no way so I drove past it went down this metric drive and unfortunately I, I thought this was a road and I could loop back around dead end so I had to make a three-point turn um, the rear side of my tra trailer how it goes down for the mega ramps where I tried to back it across the street like I went I went I came this way and I went into a parking lot that way and I tried to back it across the street into a parking lot. It was like that, 
and my trailer went like this and it essentially just stopped me dead right there so I had to pull back out and then maneuver it three-point turn and then come back out this way so I just called these people and I said hey man <laughs> there's no way I can get into y'all's parking lot like it's impossible so apparently someone's coming over to meet me right now um, yeah so we are sitting on the side of the road Samantha's a little uh, a little confused but she figured out if she stands back there her face can stick out the window a little bit better because she was standing on the floor and her neck probably got a little sore from uh, trying to smell the smells of the world so but she's doing pretty good so yeah dude's gonna come meet me right now and I was like do you have a forklift and he's like no and I'm like okay so we're gonna figure this out together um, but it is only 11 o'clock in the morning two drops well one point no, one about to be two and then we can finally go home so who had a guess on the mileage we went Florida where do we go Cleveland no was it Cleveland it was what no Florida, Cleveland, back to Florida, Florida, Georgia, Reno, California, California, Indiana, Ohio, Florida. How many miles do y'all think that was? I'll tell you when I get home. It's my longest trip ever. <laughs> right, Samantha? All right, let's wait for this dude. False alarm. It's a really good thing we didn't pull into that office park because these guys don't even have a forklift. We are going to Sunbelt Rentals. Um, excuse me. Sunbelt Rentals. <laughs> He's going to have them fork it off. And then they're gonna hook it up to their truck to take it and he said they don't even know I'm coming over but I'm gonna buy them lunch so we'll see how this goes but that's good Sunbelt obviously big trucks come in and out of those all the time so I'm not worried about it but again we're our location we're gonna have to turn that off that guy needs to slow down all right I'll let you know when I but yeah I cannot pull into commerce parks right there's nowhere to turn around just absolutely nothing so homeboy is hauling butt I'm gonna have to google some belt real quick so I know where to go later this is turning unbelievable this is not some belt rentals It's all good, we're almost done. <laughs> Home sweet home, Orlando, Florida. 24 days total. You know the route. What do we have? Trip A. 9,818 miles. We'll just call it, since it's .9, we'll call it. 9,819 miles. We did 
25,900 in gross. So, my personal pickup, battery's dead. I gotta get a new battery for that thing too. Let's do this. Whew. Calculator, 25,900 divided by 9819 equals 2637, so 264. So my truck did $2.64 a mile no matter what. Deadhead going to the store. What else did I do? Yeah, going to the store, fixing it. But anyhow, so that's obviously that's our longest hot shot trip. That's by far our most successful, profitable hot shot trip. Uh, we've been in the 20s a couple of times. 20,000s when we go out but yeah 26k just a little over three weeks so next video we are going to break it all down so who cares i gross 26,000 how much is going in my pocket and that's all everyone wants to know so detailed spreadsheet coming up i'm going to create it and then i'm going to do a video on how to use it so every hot shotter out there can know down to the penny what they're making so thanks for following me on that trip y'all 24 days and let's be honest we we had a little truck problems we had a little trailer problems but probably yeah our most successful one by far so new parts are coming for a whole new exhaust system you know all factory stock is what i'm going with because that's the best <laughs> and I'm gonna detail the holy beans out of this thing because it is filthy. Look at this thing. Look at this. Everywhere. Rims. We gotta take the generator off, change the oil. But yeah, this thing's getting a total detail. And as soon as this truck is ready to go, we'll be heading back out. I think I forgot to unplug my cord. Ugh. Did you all see it on the video there? Shoot. Hopefully that didn't. Oh, that would have been. That was stupid. Dang it. All right. Hopefully I just set it to the side and I did not. Whoopsies. Oh, and then also video. You know what? We're right here. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Go on ahead and subscribe more if you want to learn about the hot shot business, how it works, what it's like on the road. Ouch. No filter. I just ran into the hose bib. All right, y'all. Let's do this.